In fact, uh, in pa- uh, the shifting uh, patterns of rainfall are not really new for Pakistan. Uh, in fact, there is a, a kind of uh, hydrological cycle that changes after 15 to 20 years. And uh, uh, now we are entering uh, from 2010, we were entering into the wet cycle and we are expecting that the next 10, 15 years will be really high fall rains and they will uh, definitely bring about uh, a lot of uh, devastation in terms of property losses and uh, in terms of life losses. And that's what really happened uh, during the uh, 2010 floods because the people were uh, in the actually dry uh, cycle and they were not expecting, uh, they were just uh, having their residences and lot of property on the way of the floods and they didn't care at the time of uh, floods. So they really suffered a lot of property and life losses. In fact, uh, uh, the floods are a kind of blessing for agriculture in this cause for the reason that uh, floods they uh, recharge the ground water and we all the time expect that because we are running out of ground water for the agriculture which is the main source uh, of irrigation in our country nearly uh, 40 to 50 percent of uh, the irrigation is done from the ground water extraction and should we not have the floods i think uh, the uh, Uh, recharging of ground water will not occur. So we love it to have the floods, but uh, government of Pakistan now onward will definitely manage to uh, arrange uh, the people to move uh, out of uh, the uh, dangerous zones.